back to the Soapy Cauldron. So today I am finally making the mermaid soap that I have hyped up so much. Um, so as always, we're gonna get started with our oils and our lye water. I added kale and clay to this. So it's gonna make the bar awesome and really good for sensitive skin. Um, and what I did is I switched to a clear bowl for y'all because I don't know if y'all are like me, but when I watch soap tutorials, I love to watch like the oils transform into soap. So that's what I wanted to do for y'all. So I'm hoping that it'll be able to be picked up on camera. I'm just gonna pour it down the side like that. And then we're going to stick blend it all together. Okay, so as you can see, the whole process takes seconds. And we now have a nice liquid soap batter, which is really good for what we want because we are going to be doing a drop swirl with four different colors. Because the idea of this soap is going to be based off of the Mermaids of Black Lake. And if you've seen Harry Potter, specifically the Goblet of Fire movie or read the book, uh, the mermaids are actually not that pretty. So I want my soap to be pretty. So while I take inspiration from the mermaids, um, obviously I'm not gonna make it uh, true to form and it is going to be my own interpretation of a mermaid soap based on the black lake. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to pour off uh, two cups of this batter for our frosting. And then we are going to set it off to the side. And then the next thing we're going to do, as I said, we're going to split this batter off into four separate colors is I'm going to take these four measuring cups and we're going to split it off into four equal batches of soap. <music> Let's play with color. There, now y'all can see it evenly. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is put the color in each of them and then I'll stir in the fragrance oil. And I bought four different colors of mica for this. And I don't remember what I bought, so let's see. We have Caribbean Sea Blue. We have Azure Blue. Turquoise Teal. And tropical sea green. So I'm going to put one in each of these. All right, so now we are going to blend in the color um, from lightest to darkest. going to stir it up by hand to make sure that I got all the color off the sides of the um, cups. Everything looks nice and incorporated. I don't see any color on the sides. So now we're going to add our fragrance oil and the fragrance oil that we are using, I hinted it to y'all the other day, but it is blue mist fragrance oil from Crafter's Choice and I'm just going to pour a little bit into each one. And it just smells so good. so good. It smells like, um, I don't know if anybody is around my age, but um, cool water for men is what it smells like to me. It smells like, it smells like junior high. Okay, I think everything is good. So what we're going to do now is pour it into the mold. Okay, so I have my mold in place and I'm just going to go back and forth layering the colors. Again, I want them to all go together crazy, so there's no rhyme or reason the way that I'm pouring this. I'm just going to pour it in about half and then just choose another color.
So now it's time to use our spatula. Just love saying that's such a fun word. And scrape out all of our bowls. Okay, so the last and final step before we get started on our soap frosting is to uh, bang this to get all the air bubbles out. And it also evens out the top for a good soap frosting base. Okay, I like it. So I'm gonna set this off to the side, let it set up for a little while and work on the soap frosting. So for the soap frosting, I went ahead and I saved a little of the azure blue and the tropical sea green um, mica. I saved a little bit of that because I would like to blend these two colors together um, to get like an oceany blue color. So that is what we are going for in this. If we don't get it um, or it comes out too dark, I'm going to add titanium dioxide mixed with water to get it to the right color that I want. But I kind of want like a nice foamy um, top. So we'll see what these two colors give us. Okay, I know it looks a little green right now, but um, as you know that you probably learned in elementary school, uh, yellow and blue make green. It will not be this green, it will turn more blue. Um, but I think that this is going to be a great color for the top of the soap. So I am going to let it harden up to uh, frosting consistency and when it's ready, I will come back and attempt to make big billowy cloud type uh, frosting on the top of the soap. So if anybody is ever curious about what I do while I wait for my soap frosting to set up, I do the dishes. Did you see how many I use for this soap? My husband would have a cow. So anyway, the soap frosting is, I think I'm just impatient. It's okay, it's, it's ready-ish. So we're just gonna go with it. And also, um, shout out to my mother because she got me this amazing cake decorating kit that I feel super fancy with and it came with all of these different like piping tips and actual piping bags. I just feel like legit and super fancy. I don't know. I just, I'm feeling fancy today, peeps. Okay. I also love this piping tip that it came with. It just makes the prettiest little stars. Might have got a little too soap frosting happy on the bottom rows, but it's supposed to be like waves anyway, so it's all fine and we will make it work. It kind of looks like, um, you know, like waves going back and forth. Kind of like it. Okay. I am digging that. Okay, so also my soaps can't be complete without sticking something inside. So I made these really cute little mermaid tails. I'll see if I can find a really pretty one and see if we can get it to focus for you. I made these super cute little mermaid tails and we're gonna stick those in the top. So I'm trying to find my lines. Okay, I think the only thing that it's missing is some sparkles, so we're gonna hit it with some super sparkles from Nurture Soap in this really cool pump sprayer that they have. Just wanna make sure the tails are straight. Okay, here we go. It just sprays like the perfect amount of glitter all over it. I love glitter. It needs more. Okay, I have glitter all over. This has glitter all over. I think we're done. I love it. I love the way it smells. I love the way that the ocean, like waves are everywhere. I'm digging it. Okay, okay, I'm done, I'm done, done. The last thing we're gonna do is um, spritz it with some rubbing alcohol just to lock everything in place. it. 
close up as always. Um, it's not quite as green in real life as it is in the video, but I am loving how this is looking. I love how the soap frosting kind of looks like waves everywhere and I think it's going to be really pretty. And I was also thinking like if this stays this sea foamy green color, it wouldn't be bad because if you've ever watched the movie, um, Black Lake is not pretty and the water is kind of green so it would work either way. All right, obviously it's the next day and this soap is ready to be cut up. Normally the outside gives me a clue as to what the inside is gonna look like, but this soap is not giving any hints. So we're just gonna to have to cut into it and see how it looks. I can say that it smells amazing, so I'm really excited about that. And yes, I love how this turned out. I love how all the colors are all swirled together. I am super excited about how that looks. But from the last few videos, the first cut is not always the full tail of the soap. So let's just keep going and pray that this one stays good throughout the entire cut. <gasps> yup, this looks fabulous. And I love the little mermaid tail on top. I just love it. I'm gonna say like my best friend's daughter, we bought her this troll thing one time and it drove us crazy and we regretted buying her that, but the little troll said, I love it. So, and then we say that all the time now. So, that was for you, Sadie Bug. I am loving how this soup turned out. Loving it. So, let's keep going. I just feel like I am a soapy wind today. Super, super pumped about it. It smells great. It looks great. I spaced out the tails great for once. So, super pleased. Oh, got a little close on that one. Spoke too soon. Let's see how this one turns out. I always shouldn't have ran my mouth. Jinxed myself. Let's push it back. All right. Not too bad. I, I love how all the colors swirled together. I was really worried because two of the blue, honestly three of the blue, were really close in color and I was worried how that would like look all together but it looks fine it looks great I love the little swirlies all right two more bars We should have some really nice size samples for this one. So remember any order that you place gets you a sample of something currently in stock, something brewing, something new, who knows, but you'll definitely get a sample. I, I am really, really pleased at how this soap turned out. I've had a lot of soaping fails lately and I feel like this one was a win. So thanks as always for watching and I'll see you next time.